TSUTigers.com. We're here with uh, head coach Travis Williams. Coach Williams, you guys just defeated, uh, defeated Southeast Missouri 81-69. to What are your general thoughts on the game? Well, my general thoughts, uh, you know, we always, for some reason, the SEMO game is it's always a tough out for us. You know, um, we had some momentum going, you know, the first half. We played well the first half, but I think second half, we, we came out of character and set up for, set up for jump shots. When so the first half, we stayed in attack mode, getting to the rim, feeding the ball inside. And I think uh, we got to get – this is probably after the last five or six or five games, probably our worst transition defense game. Didn't talk and communicate. But overall, I thought we did a pretty good job. We sold some resiliency, you know, especially after MJ, MJ Red was ejected. We'll talk about Kellen's performance. Uh, 38 minutes, I mean, he gave you just about anything you needed inside. He's a warrior, man. I mean, he's a warrior, warrior, and that's that's all I need to be said about him. And he has such an unbelievable motor. He's had so much leadership out there. And he fought. You know, I was trying to get him out of the game. Coach, I got him. I'm going I'm to I'm fight. I'm going to fight. To have 28 points and 16 rebounds, that says a lot about him. You know, and to be getting double team in the post. So, But he, he brought his A-plus game today. How about Patrick? I know it looked like he was dealing with a little bit of a leg injury there, but fighting through it for you. Yeah, he was cramping. This gym was hot for some reason tonight. It was very hot. He was cramping. We were trying to keep him hydrated over there. And that's another guy. I'm just saying, Pat is the, is the leader. He's a coach on the floor. And, and, and the thing about Pat, he's going to give you all offensively, but more importantly, he's going to give you all defensively. We've always pretty much put him on the best offensive play over there. He's going to give it to you. So he just started cramping a little bit late in the game, but he fought through it. We rubbed it out and got him back in the game in key moments. Hit some key free throws, so excited about that. And take us through what happened there with the ejection. I know that they took quite a bit of time to look at the video. What would they come and tell you? Well, it kind of threw me aback on that because I think it was after two plays. I guess Coach Nutt mentioned to him about a uh, flagrant elbow, elbow that MJ Rhett, you know, thrown, and they looked at it and reviewed it. And I'm just like, wait, what's going on? And they, they mentioned to him as a flagrant two foul for throwing an elbow. And I'm sitting there like, but listen, the guy's down there beating him up in the post. I'm like, you don't call those type of files at least to that if you don't clean it up. So I put the onus back on them. I was very disturbed about that, but the guys, you know, fought. And we, we moved on from that, and we just got to learn from them and see what, what's the uh, repercussions after that. And defensively there in the second half, they, they got off a very good start. Did you, did you, were you worried there for a little bit? Very well, especially, you know, out the, you know, because usually we, we guard your teams that have been shooting well. And usually, as I mentioned to you, we were in great in transition defense. So to, to, today, tonight, we, we took a step back. We took a step back in our transition defense, but we got stops when we needed to late, got key rebounds late. You know, so but the guys showed a lot of resiliency. You know, to tell you an interesting story, you know, you went, you, you'll be amazed who I got because I did see that little slippage in our shoot around today. You know, I kept telling guys, don't get complacent. Yeah, we won five games in a row. Yeah, well, this and that. Hey, we got to keep fighting because the teams are going to give you their best effort. You know, we got to give our best effort. So I had a, a special guest for him to call in today, a good friend of mine, Charles Barkley. Uh -huh. So I was able to get Charles Barkley on the phone today, and we had him in the media room. We got him on a speaker, on a conference call. And Charles just gave him an outstanding motivational speech. Hey, guys, you got to keep fighting. You got to have team. You got to have brotherhood. And those guys showed that tonight. They worked extremely hard. They fought. Hey, they got rebounds. They got loose balls when they had to. They made shots when they had to. You saw the enthusiasm on the bench. So, you know, the guys, hey, one thing I say about these guys, they got a lot of chemistry, and they truly and genuinely care for each other. It's a band of brothers. Yeah. What was the reaction when they heard Barkley? Was that oh, a they, 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 they thought it was a joke, Coach. Ah, oh, Coach, oh, that's not Barkley. And Barkley started talking. They were like, oh, yeah, yeah. And so they started asking, Coach, make sure you get us a shout-out tonight on TV or whatever the case may be. <laughs> but he was unbelievable. He told me, make sure I text him after the game and let him know he's who won the game. So, but I needed that. You know, I, and I call on key friends of mine from time to time, someone that's, that's been around, been exposed, because you always want to let these guys hear from someone else instead of just coming from the head coach. Yeah. You know, so that was amazing. Charles Barkley. Then I got Howard Gentry, who used to be the athletic director here, who's a living legend here. His family, the Gentry said their name after him, come in and talk to the guys about the, the history and how much you need to love and passion for TSU. And that's what we're trying to get these guys to understand. You're not playing for that name on the back. You're playing for that name on the front. And these guys are embracing it. You can see, man, they're having so much fun, man. They're playing hard. They're playing smart. We just got to get better. They're off tomorrow. Monday, we just probably going to get some shots up, watch some film, because we got to learn from this film. We took a step back and transition wise. 
5-0 and o start to the OVC. How exciting is that for you guys? It's amazing. Think about it. It's, it's truly amazing. Think about it. You lose Robert Covington, you know, and that's the beautiful thing about sports, you know. As much as we miss Robert Covington, it's an opportunity for someone else to step up and play, and they've shown that they're capable of stepping up and play, you know. And uh, they understand what I'm trying to get them to do. They understand my vision. They understand my philosophy. They understand my system. They know it's our bread and butter, what we do. And the thing I'm just trying to get them to, being smart in key moments. So when I can get them to that level where they're smart in every aspect, and I understand you're going to make some mistakes, but when they're smart and know where we're trying to get certain shots, taking certain shots, whether they know when to drive. But, but overall, I'm really impressed. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Thank you guys. Appreciate it.